Hello everyone, welcome back to Sid's Art. This video is totally random because few hours ago I got a call from my friend who told me to make a very simple flat vector face of a joker. I don't know where exactly he is using it but it doesn't matter because anyways I love making flat vector illustrations. So if you haven't seen my channel yet, please take a look. There are so many of them. So in this video, I will show you the process I followed step by step to make this. It's very simple and hope you enjoy it. Alright, so before I start drawing, let me just get this out of my way. So first to make a rectangle, then click on this red node and drag it down like this. So that you will have a shape of a capsule. Next make two more rectangles with rounded corners. Oh yeah, by the way I just pressed Ctrl D on the keyboard so to duplicate this. Just in case you didn't know. Next select the Bezier tool and make a line. Also press Ctrl key on the keyboard so that your line is horizontal. Also give it a rounded cap. Okay next draw an ellipse. And then draw a rectangle select both of them go to path and click difference now press shift and control key on the keyboard so you can reduce the size of this object in same proportion so I'll bring it here then press control D and duplicate this next make a circle and for that press key, control key on the keyboard while drawing it so it will be a perfect circle Next make a line, horizontal line, so for that press ctrl key on the keyboard and make a line. Now make sure that your snap items rotation center is on and bring a vertical line at the center of this line. Next bring another horizontal guide. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make that smile and I have to I want to make sure that it's symmetric. So I'll select the node node tool and click on the line at its center and drag it downward like this. Okay, next click on the one of the nodes and you will see the handles. So press control key on the keyboard and make it vertical and use this horizontal guide as a reference so that both of the handles are of equal length okay now press ctrl d so that we have two lines now so while one of the lines is selected, increase its stroke width. So I'll try 50. Too much. Okay, let's try 
20 no not 20 15 okay 15 seems fine all right so just give it a round gap now you can see this is just a line so if i try to fill it it won't work so we have to convert it into an object so the way to do that is go to path and i mean while it's selected go to path and click on stroke to path and now you can fill it with white color or whatever color you want and also give it some stroke now in this case stroke where it's already set too high let's make it two pixels okay So now we have this creepy smile ready. We'll just get rid of these guidelines. Make another rectangle like this with rounded corners. Place it here, press Ctrl D and duplicate it. Now we'll select both of those rectangles, group them. The reason why I grouped it so I can align it uh, vertically with this face. Now we'll select this rectangle and the ears. No, we cannot do that directly. First, we have to ungroup this, then select the face, then go to path and click union. I will also align this smile. Maybe nose also. Okay. Next, select the rectangle and make a vertical rectangle like this align it send it to back and then make a circle press ctrl key on the keyboard and make a perfect circle like this now draw an ellipse and after drawing press s key on the keyboard so you can see it selected now click one more time and you will see the rotation handles and also you will see this plus sign at the center which is our rotation center so just drag it to the right now press ctrl D to duplicate and make a copy oh sorry rotate it around the center like this now press ctrl D again and flip it horizontally Select everything, go to path, click union. Press Ctrl D and flip it vertically. And I'll just bring this circle to the front. Next select a rectangle mm -hmm. let's reduce its width okay now I'll select another rectangle bigger than this and select both of them go to path and difference now we'll make one rectangle like this and then one more and also I will align them so I'll select both of them group and select this 
and align them on vertical axis now we'll press ctrl u and ungroup them again now all we have to do is press ctrl d and select this two rectangles go to path and click intersection then repeat the process again now just send them to the bottom okay i'll skip the making these circles because it's obvious i don't want to spend time on that so now let's make here so for that create another rectangle with rounded corners now let's select this send it to back make sure it's vertically aligned now press ctrl d and duplicate it now sh press shift key on the keyboard so you can reduce its height on from both the ends now while shift key is still pressed increase the width from both the sides send it to back and this uh, just repeat this process one more time and i'll increase the corner okay now i'll send it to the back now just select all three rectangles go to path and union so our drawing part is complete now we can select everything and Select some stroke style, 5, 2, 5, let's try 3. Okay, this looks fine. So this is how basically I made this joker. Hope you like the process. And next, okay, next step would be to fill the colors. That's up to you. You can use whatever colors you want. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And stay tuned for more. There will be more videos coming soon. So have a good day and see you soon.